We take billions and bail out the auto industry. We take billions and bail out banks and insurance companies. But we act like some woman in Compton that needs some assistance because her job was outsourced and she got to raise her two children. We act like she broke the economy. She didn't break the economy. The economy broke her. A prominent leader on the world stage, Reverend Al Sharpton has been a spokesman for the voiceless in the rally for injustice for decades. We had ID when we voted for Nixon. We had ID when we voted for those that succeeded him, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush again. Why, when we get to Obama, do we need some special ID? This son of Ada and Alfred Charles Sharpton grew up in the Brownsville neighborhood of Brooklyn and learned quickly. A tough spokesman who has confronted the faces of injustice from Bernard Goetz to George Zimmerman. If someone murders someone, it should not be dependent on the skin color of the victim or how they're punished. It should be equal protection under the law. No justice! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! As organizers of the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington, the National Action Network assembled more than 250,000 in Washington, D.C. to call on Congress to work towards the fulfillment of Dr. King's dream for jobs and justice. Welcome one of our true heroes, a man who needs no introduction, a man who's going to fire us up, a man who is the president of the National Action Network, Reverend Al Sharpton. Dr. King and those that fought with him, they fought and they beat Jim Crow. But we come as the children of Dr. King to say that we are going to face Jim Crow's children. Because Jim Crow had a son called James Crow Jr. Esquire. He writes voting suppression laws and puts it in language that looks different, but the results are the same. The National Action Network is relevant with boots on the ground as they stay in touch with the people they help the most. Brother Sharpton is humble to be part of the 100-year-old fraternity. I'm very honored and grateful to become a member of and, and a participating honor a member of the fraternity and what it stands for and the principles. I think that this is a very, very significant day in my life. His voice is heard around the world as he makes no apologies for the truth. We've come too far to turn back now. And we are the ones that are here to make sure the clock doesn't go back. Defiant, uncompromising, compassionate. Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity at its Centennial Gala Celebration is proud to present Reverend Al Sharpton, the Founders Day Service Award.